Hey guys, so Lord here, back again with another review, and today we'll finally be taking a look at the Four Horsemen Studios Mythic Legions Reinforcements Orc Legion Builder. Now before we get started here, let us first take a look-see at both the front and the back of the packaging. So without further ado, to you, let's get into it. Now before we get into the meat and taters of this review, the Orc Legion Builder does come with a plethora of accessories. First up, the Orc Legion Builder does include the two standard broadswords we are used to seeing in the Mythic Legions line. Next up, he comes with the standard larger sized battle axe and as par the course for this line you can take off that little spike on the back and put on this extra axe head to make it a double headed battle axe if you so choose. And last but certainly not least the Orc Legion Builder does include a pair of shoulder pauldrons. These are of course the larger more aggressive looking shoulder pads that have spikes and little cracks and chips throughout them look really really heavy metal if i'm being quite honest and then he comes with the standard belt slash strap piece we are used to seeing in the mythic legions line which you can of course store either of the two swords in so with that being said let's now move on to the aesthetics and articulation taking a closer look at our Orc Legion Builder here, and is it just me, or is the Mythic Legions line, as of late, severely lacking in Orc characters to choose from? And if that All-Stars poll is any indication, we're not going to get very many in the near to distant future, so that, in and of itself, kind of sucks, because I'd like to have some more Orcs, man. Uh, my Orc collection, as far as this line goes, is very, very light. I have four. This is number four. Uh, I have the deluxe one coming, so that'll make it five, but there's still like, what, two Legion Builders, the Orc Queen, the Orc Warlord guy. Uh, and then I think there's another purple one, isn't there? And then uh, Urku, who, you know, I traded for the uh, Mezco Blade. Cool figure, but the quality uh, is just not as uh, up to par as these newer releases are, or newer re-releases I should say. That said, I really like this figure. Um, I will say I'm starting to get a little bit uh, tiresome of the limitations as far as the posability goes because I tried to pose this guy the other day and it just wasn't, I, I wasn't feeling it. So uh, you know, they look cool just standing there and that's pretty much how I'm gonna have them but for the video I do like to pose my figures and you know, articulation is not the best on these. Those of you who probably already know that if you collect these. So yeah, I would like to see some articulation enhancement at some point. So I can do some different poses other than like the same like five I've come up with for the video URLs. But that's just a personal problem. And uh, you know, it could just be uh, I suck at posing. So <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, it's more of a personal problem when you really think about it. But uh, as far as articulation goes on this guy, what he does have, he has an up and down the head, tilt side to side. Um, he does have the more tame gorget piece here. Uh, it doesn't have the big kind of teeth sticking out the bottom, which I wish it did. Since he has the uh, big honking monster shoulder pauldrons and these gauntlets and boots, that would have been a little bit better. But you know, it's fine. You can at least see his face a little better. Uh, without those big teeth things sticking out. Uh, shoulders go out to the side pretty far. Back down, forward and back. It's got a single hinge at the elbow, swivel at the elbow, swivel at the gauntlet, swivel at the wrist, hinge at the wrist. He's got a ball joint in the torso. Not too loose on this guy, not too uh, tight either. Uh, and then he has forward and back in the hip. Out back down, thigh cut, single joint at the knee, swivel at the knee, swivel at the foot, hinge in the foot, and a rocker. This foot's a little loose but not terrible. Uh, and then he has pegles at the bottom of the feet, 
which if you're like me, you probably had a stance to use, or you bought the Four Horsemen stance. But at any rate, uh, cool figure, I dig him, but um, after reviewing so many Mythic Legions now, I would like to see some articulation improvement at some point. Uh, the Horsemen are always uh, the type of people I imagine to uh, constantly improve upon their product because that's how they are. They actually give a crap about uh, what the customer is paying for their product so they always try to do better every time and I absolutely love that about the Horsemen. It's why I collect this line. It's why I love this line. It's why I have so many figures from this line. But uh, your articulation is a little bit hindered to say the very least. Like you can't even do like a two-handed sword pose with these guys which seems kind of strange because it's a pretty typical medieval style stance, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that and we need more orcs. We either need some new ones or we need some reissues of old ones. I don't know what the deal with that All-Stars poll was, but all the 2.0 based characters were just kind of eh for me. Uh, I'm rooting for the Alpha Ranger though. But at any rate, let's now move on. Some size comparisons. First up, here's our Orc Legion Builder next to the previous Orc character I took a look at from the Mythic Legions line almost a year ago now, Varthog, and a character who could potentially be an Orc sometimes, because, well, he's a changeling after all, Sir Gerard. Next up, here he is alongside a couple other Orc characters from the Mythic Legions line, the Fury Clan Orc, and Herplor, who I stripped down and made an orc specifically for this video, so you're welcome. And last, but certainly not least, we have our two regulars, Brother Mandibulus, the okay. Eleven Spawn, who as usual, towers over everyone. So with that being said, time to wrap things up, some final thoughts. Overall, and while I may not have any gripes with this figure personally, I do have a bit of a pet peeve with the Mythic Legions line in general right now, and that is there is a sheer lack of orc characters to purchase and choose from at this current time. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to get my hands on some more orcs, some named orcs. The only named orc I have really at this current time is Varthog, unless you want to count the Motu tribute slash homage character Purplor. Uh, I have that one as well, but it's supposed to be a cat dude, not an orc all the time. But at any rate, I think the Mythic Legions line would benefit from some more orcs, or at least some orc reissues of some kind, because there are two other Legion builders. There are the two deluxe Legion builders coming out. There's Queen Urxa, there's Gorthok, there's Urku, who is another Legion Builder type character. It's just that he has a more specific name, like the Fury Clan Orc or the Borier. And then there is also. Is it Kurzog? Urzok? Something like that. He is the uh, Orc Warlord General type character who's all buddy buddy with good old Gorgo Aetherblade. And none of these characters have been re-released. I don't think there's been a single orc in an All-Stars wave. So while I'm happy to add another orc to my Legion's collection, I'd like to add more than one at a time because... I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of hurting for orcs right now. I don't have a whole heck of a lot. This is my fourth one that I have in my possession. So we could use some more orcs, guys. Chop, chop. But, with that being said, I do really like this figure. I think he's a nice addition to anyone's Mythic Legions collection. If you have any other Orc characters, this guy's going to complement them quite nicely. So, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you are so inclined, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. So you know whenever I upload more reviews like this one, if you haven't already, please hit me up on Instagram at Overlord Productions, as well as the Mythic Legions Cabal over on Facebook and or Instagram. Be a part of the Legions community, but as always, keep the comments civil. The world sucks enough as it is. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.